Hello friends, I'm Javed Nihal and in this poetry section I'm going to analyze a poem written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The picture that you see is of Henry Wadsworth. Longfellow was the most popular and greatest American poet of his time. The poem which is a topic of today's discussion is Daybreak. Daybreak was first published in Longfellow's poetry collection called Birds of Passage in the year 1858. Let us start with the title of the poem which is very very appropriate. Daybreak is a time when light first appears in sky and this appearance of light indicates the beginning of a day. Well, daybreak is not just the beginning but also the most magical moment of a day. Daybreak is also important because most living creatures not only wake up from their sleep but also set out for their day's activities. They get nourishment, grow up and evolve. Well, let's move to the poem and here comes the wind. I mean the poem. I think wind. Okay, you check it yourself. The poet wants to see every nook and corner of the world throbbing and thriving with life and activity during daytime. He wants every object, whether animate or inanimate, to realize that a day has begun. In order to send this message, the poet chooses wind and he chooses it very correctly because wind is the messenger of nature. In reality, the poet puts his own words on the lips of the wind to spread the news of the daybreak and he does it so wonderfully with the help of a literary device called personification. The poet gives the wind human-like ability to speak. The personified wind implores and greets and commands and shouts and touches and whispers and sighs just like human. The wind in fact urges the living world not to be lazy but follow the natural course of day and night. At daybreak, a gust of wind rises from the sea and asks mist and fog to give it a clear passage. It greets the ships and urges the mariners to set sail as the night is gone. The wind then rushes towards land shouting out the news of the arriving morning. It first visits forest and commands it to spread out its leafy branches. It slithers through the folded wings of the wood birds and wakes them up urging them to sing the morning song. It then moves to farm and direct roosters to give their clarion call of the arrival of the day. It whispers into the ears of corn and asks them to bow down and greet the approaching morning. It shouts through bell fry towers and urges the bell to announce that a day has begun. The ending of the poem is also very elegant and natural. There is also a shift in tone in the final couplet of the poem. After waking up all the living creatures, the wind passes over the graves in the churchyard. The joyous and happy mood of the wind becomes somewhat sad and sorrowful for it knows there lies the sleeping souls. The wind does not wish to disturb the souls sleeping in their graves. The hour for them to rise from their sleep has not come. So the wind asks the dead to lie quietly as they have discharged their earthly duties. Well, if we are to critically analyze this poem, the first thing we find that Daybreak is a fine lyrical poem beautifully written 
in nine lovely couplets. One of the distinct features that has always been a part of Longfellow's poetry is that he always favors rhyme and rhythm. The poem Daybreak is structured in nine lovely rhymed couplets giving it a natural rhythm. Again in each of these nine rhyming couplets the wind grates and it speaks to different object in a tone and tenor fit and proper for that object. Longfellow's poetry is known for its melody. In this poem Henry not only makes a very deft and artful use of rhyme and rhythm but also makes great use of melodious voice of nature. Say for example the breezy sound of the wind, the lapping of water, the singing of bird, the clarion call of rooster, the ringing of bell, even the silence of the dead. The poet also creates beautiful imagery in the poem. As a master craftsman, Longfellow produces a number of colorful images along with charming words of nature. There are several images which comes in quick succession one after the other. The poem has been structured in nine couplets keeping in mind the nimbleness and agile movement of wind. The wind after rising from the sea quickly rushes towards land and visits different places to pass the news of the daybreak. This gives the poem a breezy style. In fact, the rhyme and rhythm, the tone and tenor, flurry of colorful images, melody of nature, the breezy style makes daybreak a unique poem. Well, I'm going to sign off with a beautiful video which is my humble effort to bring out the rhythm, imagery, melody and breeziness of this poem. I hope you would love it. Here it comes.